Welcome to Design Your Destiny, your podcast for tapping into the power of your subconscious mind. In this next few minutes, allow me to show you how to tap into that power so that you can create success with ease, form deeper connections, and have greater presence in your relationships, and most importantly, find peace within yourself. My name is Penny Chason, and I'm your host. Hello, hello, joyful souls. This episode is going to be airing just before the holiday season, the season of giving. And I have a question for you. And that question is, what are you giving to the world this holiday season? And not just what are you giving to the world this holiday season? What are you giving to the world each and every day. Because we are giving each and every day. We are giving through the things that we are teaching. We are teaching others about us, about the world, about what's possible with each and every interaction, each and every choice, the conversations that we have, the stories that we share. So what are you giving to the world this holiday season? Because the words and actions that we all, you know, give out to the world don't just impact the people in our immediate vicinity. Our words and our actions have a ripple effect because our words and our actions impact the people that we're immediately interacting with, but it affects their state positively or negatively. And no, we aren't responsible for their state. We're not responsible for someone else's interpretations and emotions. But, you know, if we're having a really bad day, and we're not keeping our emotions in check. And, you know, we all have those moments. I know that last week was a particularly intense week for me and a lot of other people as well that I know. When we take those thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and then we inject them into our physical reality around us, and we are basically pushing that vibration of those emotions, of that emotional state onto the people around us, even if they may not realize it at first, it impacts them. And it can impact them in a number of different ways. Depending on what their emotional state is for the day, they may be able to let it, you know, just be like water rolling off a duck's back. Or if they're having a bad day, maybe then it amplifies their bad mood. And then maybe they go home to children and the children, you know, want their attention. They want their mom or their dad. And, you know, mom or dad is like frustrated now and they've been irritated to the point that it doesn't take much that they snap. And now that's impacted the kids and now the kids are upset and then the kids might bicker with one another. I mean, you see where I'm going with this, right? Now, the opposite of that is walking into a store, walking down the sidewalk, you know, smiling at someone who you don't even know, wishing them a happy new year, complimenting someone on something that they're wearing, these little random acts of kindness, those things also have a ripple effect. And each and every day, I think it's important, and this is my opinion and my viewpoint, right, to display some random act of kindness because it helps to lift other people up. And then that's going to change their mood and their state into a positive way. And then they're going to go out and they're going to impact someone else because their mood is lifted. They're seeing the world a little bit differently. Now, 
in reality, are there people out there that you'll be pleasant with them and be like, ha, 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 why are you being nice to me? I actually used to work with someone like that several years ago. You try to be nice. It was like, ha, why are you being nice to me? And it's like, okay, I, whatever. <laughs> and I would just have to walk on. You know, and after a while, when someone responds to you that way, the inclination is to just simply stop being nice because it's not appreciated. However, other people around you watch that interaction where you're being nice, even though they're being in their moment, whatever their moment is, it's not my place to judge that moment. Other people watch that interaction. And Then other people who would have been like, well, I just don't even know why you bothered because so-and-so is always in such and such a way. And it's like, I don't care if they appreciated that I said, hello, how are you doing? Whatever, right? I don't care. I'm not going to change who I am just because someone else is a grouch. And then you become an example for other people. That even if someone else isn't nice, that doesn't mean that you in turn have to dismiss them. You can still be nice. You can still be polite. Because these things have a ripple effect. People see you have a positive interaction with someone else. And then they may go tell someone else, oh my gosh, you know, I saw this thing today. And This woman is always grouchy. She's grumpy. People will say hey to her, and she's just always snippy and rude to people. And this other person that I work with, like, it doesn't matter how nasty this person is. She is always polite to them. She always gives them a compliment, says, hey, how are you doing? You know, and I just don't know how she does that. But you see, it gets people thinking. How can you be in this place where even though someone isn't being pleasant to you, that you can be kind, caring, and compassionate towards this person? And so now they've told this story. And the person that they're telling this story to, you know, might think, huh, you know, that's really interesting. I never considered that. So your actions aren't just about you. Your choices, your feelings, the way you show up in the world, if you do random acts of kindness, if you tithe, if you participate in aini or reciprocity, these things extend and they ripple out and they have an impact far beyond what you immediately recognize. So I'm going to challenge you to really go out and give the biggest gift of yourself that you can this season of giving and to just be sure to take the time and the moments with your family, with your friends, to allow yourself to receive these same gifts of love, care, and compassion into your life. Because you deserve to receive those random acts of kindness, those acts from your friends and your loved ones that show you that they care, that you're special, that you're loved, that you mean something. And to embrace that beyond a casual, oh, that was nice, thank you. No, really, really receive that into your life. Receive that you are something special to someone else, and it just becomes this infinite loop of gratitude, an infinite loop of compassion, an infinite loop of love, of kindness. And if you do that, your world will begin to shift. Because when you're putting this out into the world when people are seeing this of you. And if you're listening to my podcast, then I already know that you're someone who practices this, but really use this season as an opportunity to be ultra aware of where you're giving the gift of yourself and who you are and how you allow yourself to receive that. And 
I will be seeing you soon after the new year. Bye now. Thank you for listening today. If you've enjoyed this episode of Design Your Destiny, I would appreciate it if you would head over to iTunes and leave a positive review. When you leave a positive review, it's like podcast currency, and we can increase our reach and get the message to even more people that they, just like you, have the ability to design their destiny. And remember, subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Thank you.